Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on Best Buys. So Best Buys is all about finding the best value for money. So usually we're given a situation in which there's uh, the same product on sale for multiple different prices at multiple different weights. And we have to work out which one has the lowest cost per gram or per kilogram. It depends on the units, uh, but that's the basic premise. So the best way to illustrate this point uh, is with the use of an example. So here we've got washing powder on sale with three different brands. So we've got A, B and C. So with brand A, you can get 400 grams for £2.56. With brand B, you can get 750 grams for £5.10. And with brand C, you can get 1.2 kilograms for £7.38. Uh, so what we're going to work out is the price per gram, uh, which we'll measure in pounds per gram. Uh, so uh, what have we got here? Uh, well, we've got uh, £2.56 for 400 grams for brand A. So to get the price per gram, we'll divide £2.56 by 400 grams. Uh, so let's put this into the calculator. £2.56 divided by 400. So that's 0 0.0064. Now this might seem like a bit of a strange uh, unit or amount, uh, but it's okay for the sake of price comparison. Uh, so our units here are pounds per gram. So if we do the same thing for brand B, uh, we've got £5.10 this time, divided by 750 grams. So whack that into the calculator, so 5.10 uh, divided by 750. So that's 0 0.0068. Uh, so that's more expensive than brand A. And then finally, with brand C, uh, this time we've not got the units in grams, we've got kilograms. So 1.2 kilograms is equal to, sorry, not 1,000, it's 1,200 grams. Uh, so we've got £7.38 divided by 1,200 grams. So let's put that in the calculator. £7.38 divided by 1,200 so that gives us 0 0.00615. Uh, so that is the lowest price per gram. So therefore, uh, brand C is the cheapest or the best value. So let's move on to have a look at another example question. Uh, so this is an exam style question now. So two different sized cartons of milk are on sale in a shop. Uh, so we've got milk for th uh, 300 milliliters of milk for £1.20 or we've got 500 milliliters of milk for £1.40. The smaller 300 milliliter cart and currently has an offer that reads buy one and get the second half price. Considering this offer, work out the best value for someone looking to buy 1.5 liters of milk. Uh, so if you've got 1.5 liters of milk, let's first of all work out how many of each uh, we'd need to buy. Uh, so let's call this one A and we'll call this one B. So let, let's look at A first and we'll break it down and work out the cost uh, if we go with brand A. So uh, if we want 1.5 litres and we got 300 millilitres, then uh, first of all, 1.5 litres is 1,500 millilitres. So divide that by 300 and that gives us five. So we need to buy five from brand A in order to get one and a half litres. So uh, if we buy one and get the second half price, then that means uh, the first one will pay full price. The second one will pay half price. Uh, the third one will pay full price. The fourth one will pay half price and the final one will pay full price. So we end up buying three at full price and we buy two at half price. Uh, so if we've got three at full price, that's three times one pound 20 and two at half price, uh, that's plus two times half of one pound 20 is 60p. Uh, so if you add all that together, we can do it on the calculator, three times one, part, uh, one pound 20, sorry plus two times 60p, so that gives us £4.80. So £4.80 is the price with brand A. Now let's look at brand B, and actually I'll use a separate colour just to make it clear. So with brand B, so that's this one, uh, we need to buy uh, 1,500 divided by 500 this time, so that's three. Uh, so we need to buy three cartons of milk. And uh, the price per carton is £1.40, so 3 times £1.40, uh, so 3 times 1.4, sorry, 1.40, so that's £4.20. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the price with A was uh, £4.80, the price with B was £4.20, 
uh, so therefore B is the cheaper option. If you'd like to get some more practice with Best Buys then you can take our online exam. It's available through our revision platform and if you take the test you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at uh, so you can get instant feedback on each and every one uh, so you can find out where your strengths and weaknesses lie. If you're interested then click the link below it'll take you straight there.